It's true, germs can live on your clothes and they can live on your body. While that might not be the most buzzworthy topic right now in regards to the COVID-19 pandemic, it's very important to take precautions whenever we can. The UK's National Health Service reports that there are three primary ways that germs can be spread by clothes and towels. Shared towels or bedding can spread contamination. Dirty laundry can spread germs when handled. And even the laundering process itself can spread germs. Many of the guidelines for protecting yourself against COVID-19 focus on cleaning hard surfaces and high-touch surfaces, like your smartphone. You don't actually need to use antibacterial or antiviral products on your phone. You can just use simple soap and water. But the CDC also suggests that there's some risk involved when you're handling the clothes or bedding of an infected person. They strongly recommend that you wear disposable gloves when handling dirty laundry from an ill person and then discard the gloves after each use. If using reusable gloves, those gloves should be dedicated for cleaning and disinfection of surfaces for COVID-19 and should not be used for other household purposes. And please be sure to wash your hands properly after handling the laundry. The CDC advises that, if possible, do not shake your dirty laundry. This will minimize the possibility of dispersing virus through the air. You should also make sure that you clean and disinfect any and all laundry hampers. The COVID-19 virus is extremely contagious, but of course it can't jump from surface to surface the way that fleas can. When experts describe the virus jumping, they mean it in an entirely different way, as Quanta Magazine reports. It's a disease that can jump between humans and other animals. While the specifics differ, the mechanism relies on the same fundamental premise, access and ability. Can a virus reach the cells of its host? The COVID-19 virus can, of course, be spread through coughs and sneezes. In fact, a single cough can produce up to 3,000 droplets, and these droplets can live for several days on hard surfaces like metal, glass, or plastic. Meanwhile, UCLA professor James Lloyd Smith told NPR, What our experiments show is that the virus can remain viable floating in the air for some number of hours. The experiments went out to three hours and, you know, there were still viable viruses present. But as NPR reports, Lloyd Smith says this experiment definitely does not prove that people have been infected this way by particles of virus that float in the air, what scientists call aerosolized transmission. He says what remains unknown is what dose is needed to infect someone. What is known is that it's exceptionally important to continue practicing social distancing and, again, making sure that you wash your hands often. And in case you aren't entirely clear on what social distancing is, Johns Hopkins Medicine explains. It's deliberately increasing the physical space between people to avoid spreading illness. Staying at least six feet away from other people lessens your chances of catching COVID-19. It's also important not to touch people when greeting them, so no handshakes or high fives. Your safest bet is simply not going out in public at all. Work from home, have your groceries delivered, and communicate digitally instead of in person. According to the CDC, person-to-person -person transmission is the primary way that the COVID-19 virus spreads. Basically, don't touch other people. At least, don't touch other people who aren't in your household. Another important note, surgical masks aren't recommended for the general public. They should only be worn by medical professionals or people who are caring for an infected person. That's because there's currently a critical shortage of personal protective equipment for medical providers. Meanwhile, if you've been out in public near at-risk persons, or if you've been exposed to someone suspected of having coronavirus, that large pile of laundry is even more pressing. The National Health Service recommends that you wash your laundry in water that's at least 140 degrees Fahrenheit and be sure to use a bleach-based product, which is available in most laundry aisles. The CDC also advises that you let these laundered items fully dry. Stay safe out there. On second thought, stay safe by staying indoors.